Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 45th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about something called IFS. Now IFS stands for Internal Field Separator. And before we check out what IFS is and what its significance is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a minute and uh, refresh your memory about the set command in case you've forgotten how it works. So I have my terminal here and when I type in set, and pass to it as an argument a string of text. I'll just type in something random like this is the 45th tutorial. And when I press the enter key, what set does for me is it sets the positional parameters with the words in the sentence. So if I would echo out the value of positional parameter dollar one, then you would see the first word in the sentence, which is this. If I would echo out the value of dollar two, then you would see the second word, which is is. And if I would echo out the value of dollar six, then you would see the sixth and the last word in the sentence, which is tutorial. So how does Unix decide which word has to be assigned to which positional parameter? It does so by looking for the internal field separator in the sentence and the default value of the IFS is the space character or tab or even new line I think. So what Unix does is it looks for all the space characters in the sentence and that's what it uses to uh, figure out which word has to go in which positional parameter. So I have uh, my text editor here and I've saved this file in the home folder it's called IFS and has the extension SH and what I'm gonna do in the script file is I'm gonna first declare a variable and then use set to set the positional parameters with the words in the variable and then I'm gonna change the value of IFS and show you guys uh, how uh, the behavior of the set command is modified, right? So let me first create a variable, I'll call it line and I'll uh, give it value shell scripting is fun. And remember since it's a string variable, I've uh, put the sentence within double quotes, right? On the next line, I'm gonna use set and uh, as an argument to it, I'm gonna pass the variable line, but with a dollar symbol, right? Because uh, we are interested in setting the positional parameters with the uh, words that are stored in the variable line and not with just the word line. On the next line, I'm gonna use echo statement to echo out the value of dollar one and uh, well actually since four positional parameters must have been set with the sentence i'm going to use four echo statements to echo out the four words on different lines right so dollar two then dollar three and dollar four and let me save this file bring up my terminal again i'll clear the screen and when i execute the script by typing in sh space ifs.sh which is the name of the file and you see that on four different lines, you see the four words in the sentence. Now that's because there is a space character between uh, you know the words in the sentence. But if I change the value of IFS by typing in IFS is equal to colon, right? Let me save this file and uh, let me clear the screen. And when I execute the script, now you see that the entire sentence shell scripting is fun is being displayed on one line and then you see three blank lines of output and that's because Unix started looking for the colon character instead of the space character this time in uh, the sentence and since it didn't find any colon characters it thought that okay maybe this entire thing has to go in dollar one and dollar two dollar three dollar four didn't get any values right and that's why uh, you saw three blank lines and these three echo statements are responsible for them right so if I would replace the space characters in the sentence with the colon characters then you would see that the original behavior of the set command would be restored right and that's not going to be too difficult for me to do and uh, let me first clear the screen and when I execute the script you see that you know once again I see the four words on four different lines so understanding IFS is important because not always you deal with the text input that has a space character as a delimiter for example in the previous tutorial we talked about the password file and I told you guys that in the password file in each row you have seven fields and all the fields are separated from each other with the colon character and not the space or tab right so you know if you're dealing with a file such as the password file or if you are dealing with a file that's uh, you know 
uh, built using a software like Excel where you can have files in CSV format that is comma separated value where you have the comma character as a delimiter you would want to first change the value of IFS by typing in IFS and then using the equal to symbol and the value that you want to assign to it before uh, actually using the set command and uh, setting your positional parameter right so another thing that you have to note is that whenever you use IFS in your shell scripts you have to type in the three characters in uppercase you don't have to type them in lowercase and if you would do that then it won't work right so in the next tutorial we're gonna check out something interesting again so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel for more updates I'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching this one